Northern Australia, home to the Aborigines, the oldest culture on earth. In me in Brislanga country, they live like a land. They have lived in this land from the dawn of creation, a time they call the dream time. Yep, I think it's time to work. Apak Jupurula and his adopted son Gulindiri are musicians. They're part of a band called Black Bala Mujik. Black Bala combine modern recording techniques with ancient Aboriginal instruments and their music is inspired by the culture and landscape of their homeland and by traditional creation stories. Aborigines believe that the world was created long ago in the dream time by a powerful being, the Rainbow Serpent. serpent crawl along this area, created the trees, the plants, the animal, the birds, the waters. It created the environment more likely and the living things which are on it. That's what, like it is more like a, it's a, it's a god that created this country. Today Aboriginal people live in small communities in the bush and Gulindiri has come to visit his cousins and his uncle Smiler at their family home. <laughs> Young people are taught by their elders in Aboriginal society, and old people like Smiler are greatly respected for their wisdom and for their traditional knowledge. <laughs> To Aborigines, many areas of land are sacred, associated with particular mythic creatures or spirits. Today, much of this land is protected by law, and Smiler has brought Gulindiri to one of the most sacred sites in this region, a hill called Mount Cat. <laughs> Is this that place that you are going to come to? Well, some been here all the time from last time, but mm. when, when we've been greatest station, so my people have listen Indian too much and Moriga too much, and mm. sometimes they go to another place. Every night they come back, you can see the light and they lay near, and then might be sometime that that thing is a little bit bad for sick person down there, or little one, little wee baby, and you can kill him and go away. Very dangerous thing, do that, like that thing. Kill anybody. <coughs> Aborigines believe that all creation is divided into two categories, called Dua and Yidicha. Whether you're an animal, plant, or human, you're either Dua or Yidicha. In this way, strong links are created between humans and the natural world. Whatever you see out there, 
there's either a Yiriche connection or a Dua connection. This river here is a Yiriche river. Water is always Yiriche. If I was a Dua person, which I am, I relate to a tree that is Dua, or a fish, the catfish, which is Dua, as my body. I can't go and kill that fish, that catfish, because that's my spirit in that catfish. Otherwise, I'll be killing myself. So we categorize in our everyday life because we've lived it, we breathed it, and we sleep in it, and we wake up and we look at the new day with it. Makes it real. We live it. Aborigines perform many rituals and dances. These are to ensure that the ancestors and spirits continue to grant power and fertility to humans. The paint is a special kind of white earth which helps to form a ritual link between humans and the land. I'm a spiritual man as well as a, an educated man in the modern society. I feel the spirit is with us right at this very moment. Like I can feel it, I can almost see it, I can sense it, I can smell it. The spirits are everywhere. They're in the trees, in the air, in the clouds, in the water, in the ground, within ourselves. The birds, the animals, they're with Mother Nature. The spirits are with us. That's what the first dance represents. Mayang the devil dance.
When white people came to Australia, they had none of the Aborigines' reverence for nature. Instead, they wanted to tear the land apart to mine ores like aluminium and uranium, sometimes in Aboriginal sacred sites. Because the non-Aboriginal country is based on economic development and commercialism, they want to bring in their bulldozers and mining trucks and things like that and build a big mine. We don't want that to happen because this is the only earth, this is the only world that we've got and we don't want to destroy that. In recent years, Aborigines have become more reconciled to the white point of view. But they're still determined to protect sacred lands and to teach traditional crafts and values to their children. It's very important to teach these concepts about religion to a younger generation. You know, well, we've always had that knowledge handed down to us through storytelling, through singing, through paints, what we use on our bodies and all that sort of thing. It's the most fundamental way that we've always taught education into the minds of them kids. That's why it's important that we keep teaching, keep practicing our culture and our knowledge. And that's the way our culture gets passed on from one generation to another. My culture is not finished. It is still here because we've got the land. You didn't take that away from me. No, we've still got it. If you took that land away from me, then I'd say my culture is taken. But that's where my culture comes from. This land, this rock, tree, flies, maggots, anything you want to call it. That that thing is really important, this land, Mother Nature.